Steve, I'm going to size up the offseason in kind of a strange way. And the only reason I think I can put my finger on why there seem to be such conflicting views about where this team, where this program is, and where uh, they should land in 2023 is because for so, so long, they have been the odds on favorite to win the Big Ten. Uh, you know, this has been going on for a decade plus that they have been the favorite. And if you take it and skip the Luke Fickle year, take it deep into the Trestle era and you've got the same thing. But this is a team that is still going to be ranked most likely in the top four in the nation to start the season. They have the most talented team in the conference. That's not even debatable. If you believe the recruiting rankings, which I certainly do, they're not flawless, but they have proven to be accurate, overall accurate for years and years and years. On the other hand, there's this malaise of Michigan hangover, Georgia, you can draw whether you're a cup half empty, half full, you can either draw the optimism from playing with the best team in the country down to the wire and outplaying them most of the game. And then you can draw the skepticism of didn't get it done. There's just this conflicting, uh, convergence of storylines and narratives concerning this team because the expectations are so lofty as to whether they can get it done this year. Yeah, I mean, I get it. I think that um, you you obviously um, there's some doubt that that comes into it sometimes. And, uh, you know, what what uh, what can you say? I mean, the last two years have been the last two years. Is that going to portend what's going to happen in 2023? We don't know. And, you know, as you said, they've got the most talented team and um, you have to go out and prove it. You've got to go out and play great defense and you got to go out and, and put 35, 40 points on the board to win those big time games. It seems that all the important games now have become shootouts and that's just the, the way it is. And you've got to be able to put up 35 or 40 points in those big games. And so, you know, we lay a lot of this at the, the foot of the um, the defense that's let Ohio State down, and it has. But, you know, there have been times as well where the offense has come up a little bit short as well. So, um, you know, Again, until you get into those weeks and those games, it's impossible to know. Um, you know, Michigan's going to have a stacked team again this year. They've got a good quarterback, got one of the best running backs in college football, Blake Corum coming back, uh, probably some good pieces on their defense returning. So um, I, you know, I'm of a mind to believe that that it, it's going to work out. It's going to come together. It's just in that moment where they absolutely have to win that game to win the Big Ten, to beat Michigan, to go on to the playoff, is it going to all come together? And we, and we won't know that. We just don't know that. It's impossible to predict it. You, you think it's going to come together, but until it does, it hasn't. So, you know, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, we can, you know, we, we bat this back and forth every week. Are they going to beat Michigan? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Nobody I mean, honestly, knows. you don't know. I mean, the last two years say they're in for a hell of a fight because Michigan now has the belief that it doesn't matter who Ohio State recruits. They can beat Ohio State. So they haven't felt that way in over 20 years on a consistent basis. So to me, Ohio State's kind of built a bit of a monster here with Michigan. And now, you know, they're going to have to take that monster down and regain control of that rivalry. And that's easier said than done. Sounds similar, Steve, to what I say just about every day on here concerning conference realignment and expansion when people want to know what's going to happen. And I say, I can lay out all sorts of factors, scenarios. I can tell you and give you um, what I think is pretty knowledgeable information and insight into the, the status of the football brands, the money, the market size of the TV markets and all of that, we can put it all together and draw out scenarios. But if anybody out there says that they know what is going to happen, I highly doubt that. 